day nine Heartland Key to Bude. This is the hardest section of um, the Southwest Coastal Path. If I can do this, I can do anything. So wish me luck. Um, I'm going to take my time. It's half past eight. I've got all day and I'm going to do it. I might be moaning at the end of this video and I'm sorry if I do, but I've got tomorrow off and I've been promised a wetsuit if I finish this section. So, I don't think I'll give up. We'll see what the weather's like though. So I'm heading now back towards um, Heartland Quay. Um, our campsite was just over there. You can just see the roof of the camper van. And uh, the weather's mixed today, so I've got my good raincoat and uh, hopefully we get too wet but we'll get wet but <laughs> doesn't matter to say so it's me at the beginning of the day we'll see what i look like at the end the infinity oh crikey Just looking for the footpath actually. I think it's up there. See the van roof. Then you have the church tower. There's Heartland Point. And uh, just walked around that hilltop and going round that cliff top there. Um, I'm holding on to the wire fence as I walk along. <laughs> it's not windy, but it's a bit scary. going to be in Cornwall shortly. That means I've walked along the coast, Somerset and South Devon and now I'm heading into South Cornwall. That's significant isn't it? So I'm now in Cornwall and we're going uphill again. So, just going to say goodbye to Devon and hello Cornwall. Oh, it's just uh, it's Welcome Bay down there um, and then there's a little hut on the hillside called Duncan's Hut. Um, so, let's crack on. That's another little down and um, this little uh, cove is called Little Littermouth. Littermouth. And uh, on a diversion, um, on my way to Morwenstow, there's a church, and uh, I've done eight miles, so I'm really pleased. Um, yeah, it's great. Great walk. Walk through this woodland um, in a place called Morwenstow. Very nice. Hear the birds and see some more orchids. There's um, Morwenstow Well, and there's a little waterfall that goes down into the sea. This is like stunning, isn't it? Look at that. Listen to the noise of the waves. It's uh, Oh, 
close so I've had to come along the valley and then back down again but uh, this is really really beautiful Let's go and have a look. Kind of got to do it. I think it's the National Trust's smallest um, property. Oh, wow. This is just so awesome. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, my word. Oh, look. Moving now down into a valley and I've just seen AJ and Dot come to meet me so still looks quite a long way here though so that's good hey i've been joined by dot and aj say hi dot hi dot say hi age <laughs> but it hasn't been as hard as i thought it would be and uh i think about um my friends that did the snowden walk in October and uh, how challenging that was for them and uh, respect you guys and uh, I just wanted to say um, you just got to break these things down into small manage manageable um, portions so that you can achieve your goals and all that don't see Dot having a wee do you and all those inspirational quotes etc whatever works for you but I've enjoyed this walk I'm just really tired now and uh, looking forward to my pint of food I have two more headphones left <laughs> This way, one mile left. My feet are knackered. I'm knackered. Thank the Lord. 